What's up guys? So this is gonna be a video about installing a water heater with PEX on your uh, outlets. This is by no means an endorsement of using PEX. Uh, I was in a position where I needed to put up a short-term solution and I checked all of the tolerances on the specifications on PEX and uh, this solution's been in place for about a month. I'm about to remove it. Um, but I just wanted to go over if anybody else is in a pinch, what I've done, like I say, I'm not recommending that you do it this way, but I'm telling you that it survived this, okay? So I'm gonna get straight into it. So over here is my water heater. <clears throat> what I had is it burst. It was hard to find a plumber to get out here and get it done quickly. And so on the pressure release valve, okay, I use PEX. That I'm not very worried about. It's unlikely that that will engage that much. And if it does, it'll probably survive the short-term purging. But up here... It's pretty well known in the plumbing community that you're not supposed to use PEX on your outlet pipes. And the reason being is that the specifications on PEX is that it has a long-term tolerance of 180 degrees with a short-term tolerance of uh, 200. So it, you can burst, the temperature can burst up to 200 for a little while and you're fine, but it can sit at up to about 179, 180 reliably. Now, what I'm going to point out to you is on your temperature setting for your water heater, you might have one that looks like this. You might have something different. But if you have a ream, hot means 130 degrees. A is 140, 150, and uh, C is 160, 70. Basically very hot. Your highest temperature setting is going to be on 180. Now, if you set your temperature setting to 180 you're 100% gonna have problems because that means that the water is gonna come out of the top there at 180 and the ambient heat that comes off of your exhaust vent is gonna add to that. So this PEX is 100% gonna have long-term exposure to water that, to a, a temperature that's above 180. Now I've got mine set to A, which should be 140 degrees, all right? Now, in case you don't know, If you can hold something for five seconds, okay, without getting long-term burns, that's gonna be about 140. Once you get up to 150 and higher, it's gonna be very hard for anybody to hold something for five seconds. It'll create major burns. If you, if you were to keep your hand on something that was 180 for five seconds, you'd have a big problem, okay? So right now, I'm gonna tell you a couple things that I found. I checked the temperature on these pipes right when I got it done. And even with this set at, even with the water temperature set at 130 below on the pilot, or on the temperature setting, this was getting way hotter. So what I did is I brought the vent almost plumb to the surface, okay, by bending these. And then what I found, my ultimate thing that really made it vent the heat out better is I wrapped up where it joins. So this vent, is extremely efficient at the, this point at getting all of the heat out of it, out of the house, okay? So that was a problem. Another thing on this PEX, one of the things that I tried doing is I tried insulating it from the exhaust pipe by wrapping these sleeves around it, okay? Well, I took these off and I'll tell you why they're off. They're off because I took them off and checked the temperature and it was way higher. So what was going on is I was trying to insulate the PEX from the ambient heat coming from the exhaust pipe. But what it really did is it locked in the heat that was already coming through. And so it made it so that it wasn't uh, ventilating. Anyway, long story short, the, the, what I ended up doing and what it's withstood is 140 degree temperature on the hot water heater and a really good job of making sure that my exhaust vent is getting everything out rather than um, pushing ambient heat sideways onto those pipes. I'm changing it out soon. Uh, you should probably uh, not do, you probably should not use PEX, but if you're gonna, mine has tolerated it for about a month with no problems whatsoever. All right, have a good day, guys.